Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you some of my babies from this year and talk a little bit about each one. Alright, let's see. This one here is an IMG normal. It's possible head for albino and anery. And you can see how she's starting to get a lot of black on her on her belly and her tail there so really kind of like that uh, IMG gene it's really cool to work with especially when you start putting it in with other things so that's the first one this one here is a flamingo line hypo motley IMG uh, you can see how it really darkens up the pattern there you can see the black starting to come out in the tail you lift her up you can see the, the black belly scales which is really cool so I think this one's gonna be pretty dark pretty dark she's definitely one of my favorites This is a IMG albino. Um, he's in shit right now, so he don't he doesn't look very good. But but it does the albinos. It gives him that really red eye, and you can see kind of on the tail. You can see how it's already turning white. So I'm sure as the black would fill in, it will get whiter. I'm not sure though, but pretty cool anyway this is a IMG albino normal pattern all right so this one here is a flamingo line sun glow it's got some really nice colors uh, problem is it lost an eye I had a bunch of albinos have the infected eyes this year and I tried and tried and tried to save them. I used all different things and I was unsuccessful. So she'll just probably stay right here with me. But you can see how the flamingo really gives it good color. Now not all hypo like in the litter has that flamingo color. Some of them just pop more than others so kind of a cool gene to work with you see you still got an eye in there it's just kind of screwed up it's moving around a little bit here is a flamingo hypo motley This one does not have the IMG gene in it, um, but still has some really good color. They don't really like to sit here on this, because there's nothing for them to grab with their tail. Anyway, yeah, I liked how the, the motley pattern stayed with it for most of the way. A lot of times a hypo will break up that motley pattern, but it's got a good look. Here's one that'll make your eyes burn. This is a IMG Sun Glow, Flamingo Sun Glow. So it's got the Flamingo in it, IMG, and Hypo. And this thing is unbelievable. Its eyes are so red. Its color is unbelievable. Just even the belly scales are pink. It's just crazy. No idea what it's going to look like when it gets older, but you can see the white coming in. That would be the IMG, I believe. Anyway, 
hopefully, hopefully I'll keep this one. Here's another keeper, um, female, IMG Motley. So this snake will get solid black, hopefully. This is what I've been trying to make since I got the IMG. So produced three this year and this was my only girl that was really I think I had two girls maybe I don't know this is one I chose so she's gonna be black though you can see the black just coming in on her tail That's gonna be cool. All right, this one I still haven't figured out yet. So I think it's an IMG Albino Motley, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm gonna keep it for a while and find out. But the way this tells white and all this is white makes me think it is, but we'll find out in time. But that's pretty cool. just real light if it's not it's just so light I thought it was a and when it was first born you couldn't even see any of this color and almost looked like a snow but here's another hypo motley that's really kind of cool it's definitely got the flamingo in it uh, and it's just got black all through it head's got a really cool pattern That one's going to be pretty black, I'm sure. That one might be another keeper. I'm wondering if it'll get black on top, but then not so much on the sides. But you can see the black already coming in. And if you look at the belly scales, lots of black belly scales. So. It's definitely a good looking snake. Here's another IMG albino male. He's also in shed. He was born with a little bit of um, an overbite right there. So I will most likely be keeping him. I like that little pattern right there, a little red on the side of the uh, spear there. But you can see the white coming in all through there. And the white on the side of the head right there. Here is a Flamingo Hypo IMG. So this is what that really crazy colored one would look like without the albino gene that red and it's got a really cool tail cool eyes I know you want to grab a hold of something I know you do here grab a hold of me see all the black coming in though This one here is a possible super hypo flamingo IMG. Um, I actually had this one posted on Morph Market as a normal for a day <laughs> for 300 bucks. But uh, I was looking at the photo and realized that I, that's IMG, so pulled it off there. I'm not sure what it's going to look like, how dark this animal will get, but 
it's going to have some cool eyes, that's for sure. The Hypogene and the IMG gene make their eyes real golden. Okay, these are from my uh, albino het stripe, stripe tail to my uh, motley female. They came out really nice. That um, stripe gene really magnifies the color. And I find if you breed it to a hypo, it, it uh, almost looks like a jungle stripe. Uh, lots of striping. So this is one crazy looking motley. I love it. All the saddles, circles, and then it goes into squares. That nice red tail. Okay, here's another one, but an albino. And this one's got some really cool striping on it too. So you can see right here how the the circles are, are lines. Got it here, got one right there. So these turned out really nice. Look at that white line right there, that's really cool. Beautiful. It's another motley. This one's kind of cool because it has that bow tie there. But all the motleys came out really nice, all connecting, <clears throat> all connecting saddles all the way down. Here's another albino motley. This one's just got massive color. Just beautiful. It's also got some striping there too. There. Just beautiful. I love the albino motleys. I wish they would stay this color. They kind of fade out with time though. Molly's got to be my favorite morph to work with. Just love that pattern. And last but not least is this little runt normal. All these giant babies and this little bitty guy. But he's doing good. He's eating well. So he'll be fine. It's always nice to have a normal too. I love the pattern. Anyway, that's not all of them, but that's most of the uh, babies I had that really stood out this year. Um, a lot of them are posted on Morph Market if you want to go take a look at them. Um, and uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks.